Alright guys, so it is May 10th, the day after I come back from Taiwan, about to drink this little um, delicious amino energy and head to the gym. And uh, to be honest, I'm not really feeling super in into going to the gym right now, but you know what, I gotta do it. So uh, I weighed myself this morning and after the trip, I, w I was 70.4 kg, so I'm about 1 kg. About 1 kg more than I used to weigh before the trip, which is like 2, 2.5 pounds, which is... Actually, not that bad. It may sound like a lot, but that's something that I, I can lose that in like a week or a week and a half if I want to. So, not too bad. I only set myself back about one one week or something with that trip, which is is very good because like David like go, wanted to go to the gym as well. So it was cool going with him and uh, you know being able to work out almost every single day, even though we had to cut the workouts a little short because there was a time limit on the tickets in Taiwan. I did not gain as much weight as I uh, would have if I just didn't go to the gym at all. And I still wanted to eat all the delicious food because Taiwan is very good for food, very delicious. So, um, anyways, just one thing that like it was crazy though because in Taiwan I felt so good to work out. Like even on a diet, it, it, it was, technically it was my tenth week of my diet, and um, I was able to hit weights that I I had not done since like week four of my diet just because I was I was too weak. Like week four since week four of my diet, I could not do four sets of eight on with thirty kgs on each side. For the front squats but just having a partner to work out with going with david each day like having that partner gives you like that extra mental push like you just like break your limit and then you just it just i don't know it kind of holds you accountable not that i like bs all, not that i bs but it's just it makes you want to even push harder just because you know it's just like it's more it's way more fun with a partner in my opinion so i was able to hit four sets of eight 30 kgs on each side on the front squat in the 10th week of my diet when i just randomly just because i had a partner so it really sucks that I don't have a partner anymore, but you know what? It's just, just how it goes, man. Just how it goes. That's like one thing that I really, um, like it's nice. Like I, I really like Tiyama because over here I can do what I want. I have like, I have like all the things that I need to do to get to my goals and whatever. But one thing that really does suck is that, you know, I don't have like, I don't really have friends over here to like, I don't know, hang out with or like work out with. Like I really, working out with, having a working out partner is just one of like the best things ever. I just love it. But Anyways, whatever, I'm gonna drink this thing, go to the gym, and uh, yep, here we go. At my handicap school right now, Monday. Monday, right after coming back from Taiwan, and uh, nothing really much going on right now. It's pretty. Uh, I only have like two classes, like one in the morning for like 40 minutes, and then one in the afternoon for like 40 minutes. So there's not much to do, and uh, yeah, this is what it looks like in the classroom. So it's really far away though, so I have to travel. Like I have to travel probably. 50, oops, my coin. My Taiwanese, my Taiwanese, my 10 new Taiwan dollars. I just use that to screw in the tripod. But anyways, this place is like 50 minute travel from uh, my home. So it kind of sucks. All right, guys. Well, finished up at the uh, school for the uh, handicapped children. Oh, shit. My Taiwanese dollar again. No. Where'd it go? Ah. Uh, no! There it is. Anyways, I'm just chilling at the train station. Look at this. A pretty small train station. There's no, like, it's like just one little building inside. There's no, you can't even, you, you don't even buy tickets or anything. You just get your little slip off the train and pay at the exits. Hopefully it's a bigger place, but anyways. 
I don't know what the deal is today, but uh, I'm just like I, I was super tired, like all day at the hand, this handy up school. I was just like yawning and lack of energy. But so uh, class finished at like two o'clock, so I was like, man, I'm not gonna just sit here like being tired. So I just left, came to the train station because there's nothing else to do, and I just like took a nap on one of these tiny benches. Pretty small, but you know what? Got my rest, so I feel feel a little better now. Feel a little better now, so I'm gonna go back to the uh, base school right now, and uh, I might go to the English club. I'm not required today. I'm not required ever, but today I'm not I'm not like assigned to that school. I'm like because I went to the handicap school, so I might go, but I might just go train. We'll see. Because I'm pretty I'm pretty exhausted, and I just don't wanna I wanna rest up and like recover I guess I think I'm still just a traveling you know just traveling kills me traveling kills me like it's super fun and everything but just afterwards just all my energy is gone and yesterday I pushed really hard to uh, do the workout leg workout and maybe uh maybe suffering a little tiredness from that but you know that's how it goes so just waiting for the train got like two more minutes All right, guys, it is May 14th, Thursday. Had a Thursday school today, and I thought it was gonna be super busy today, but actually it wasn't too bad because, well, I had three classes, and but then it turns out there's no English club today because they have exams next week, which means I don't even have classes next week. So, you know, another this is just like one of the things that I, I always talk about how my teachers kind of like, they work with me and they give me a lot of leeway. So since I stay for like, I stay on my Thursday school until like five or 5.30 sometimes, doing the English club and technically working hours for on the jet contract are seven hours my um, my and but but I have to like get to the school at like 8 30 or 8 or whatever because I have classes um, second period so it's like I can't come so late so anyways today since there's no English club and I have my last class was fifth period my supervisor at that school is just like yeah you can just leave early today like we don't have any English club we don't have any classes so you know, you always stay until like 5 or 5.30 anyways, which is longer than your hours. So, you know, you can just go home really today. And I was like, hell yeah. But I actually went to the base school and did some cardio because today was an off day. And I decided to do some cardio to, you know, kind of, I need to get back to that point I was before I went to Taiwan. So that's what I'm doing. Anyways, I just went to 7-Eleven because tomorrow I'm going to do a full day of eating video. It's been a while actually. And, um. I actually skipped the uh, 2700 calorie phase, or yeah, 2700 calorie phase, because originally I started at 3300 calories, that's the first full day of eating video I showed, you guys so you could kind of see what I'm eating on my diet, then after a while I dropped to like 3000 calories, then I went to 2700 calories, and right now I'm at 2500, I, I, I can stay at 2700 if I want to, but right now I'm down to 2500 calories just because I want to get rid of that, you know, whatever I gained in Taiwan, and uh, just get get back to get on track, you know, get uh, get some progress going and get this uh, finished with because it's actually taking, um, I mean, it's actually going really well, but it is taking time and makes me tired and I'm eager to, you know, bulk again, but I'm not going to be able to do that for a while. So anyways, I went to 7-Eleven just now because my scale, my trusty scale, the batteries ran out, right? And I was like, okay, well, let's see what kind of batteries this thing has. I thought it had triple A's for some reason, but actually... Actually, it's got these, man. What are these? These are CR2032 batteries. And I was checking on uh, Amazon Japan to see if they, I could get them. And these are so freaking cheap. You can get like 10, 10 of these batteries for just like 400 yen, which is less than $4. Ugh, get out of here. But anyways, I need it immediately because, because um, since I'm doing a diet, I need to be pretty accurate with my foods and things like that so I went to 7-eleven because I was just wondering if they had these batteries and they actually did right here so as you can see I bought these from 7-eleven two of them and uh, you know I got them there but it's actually a huge ripoff there because like I said on the internet you can get 10 for just 400 yen these are 200 yen a piece so uh, technically five times the price as the ones on the internet but I need it now for the scale so you know that just uh, shows you how serious how serious things are getting man so uh, 
Anyways, yeah, and I also bought some food for the full day of eating because I kind of want to show you even when you're deep on your cut and whatever and you're dieting and you know you're you're pretty low on calories because 2,500 is a lot lower than um, 3,300 obviously. But I want to show you that you can still eat like you know it seems like it would be un unhealthy to just go to a convenience store and buy some con convenience store food and eat it because I've been cooking a lot lately, but you can actually still do that if you want to for the convenience and just because, I mean, if you don't know how to cook, the food's gonna taste better than just some random crap you throw together. So I'm gonna show you some things that I, you know, that you can get at convenience stores and still be on track on your diet tomorrow to come. So just stay, stay tuned. Don't change the channels, not a TV. Okay, next. Uh,